God Ed. I hope that you are all well and safe and happy and you're not driving your parents too crazy. Before we start, we need to light candles. The first candle is for those that have been affected by COVID-19 and the other is to remind us of Christ's light. With that, let's go to People of the Felt. During the 40 days after Jesus' crucifixion, he appeared to the apostles from time to time and proved to them in many ways he was actually alive. One of these meetings, Jesus told them, do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you what he promised. Remember, I have told you about this before. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When the apostles heard this, they kept asking Jesus, Lord, are you going to free Israel now and restore our kingdom? The Father sets those dates, he replied and they are not for you to know. But when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power and will tell people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. not long after he said this that he was taken up into the sky while they were all watching and he disappeared into a cloud as they were straining their eyes to see him two white robed men suddenly stood in the sky and they said men of Galilee why are you standing here staring at the sky Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven and someday just as you saw him go, he will return. So what did you think of that story? Can you really believe that Jesus just went up into the sky? And what do you think he meant? So next week is Pentecost. And Pentecost is when we celebrate the gift that the disciples got. And we'll talk more about that. But in the story, there, is, there are a few really important things. The first is that Jesus tells him to wait in Jerusalem. Even though it was scary and they were probably being prosecuted, they were told to stay. They had to trust Jesus. They had to trust God. And even though they had spent all this time with Jesus and they had learned so much from Jesus, they still questioned him. Because they didn't know what was coming. It's a bit like our lives, isn't it? We don't know what's coming and sometimes it can be scary, but we have to trust. We have to trust our parents. We have to trust the government. We have to trust our teachers. We have to trust ourselves sometimes. Like even with Mole, I have to trust that Mole is doing his side of things and he's telling me the truth about what's going on on the camera. We have to learn to trust other people around us. But at the end of it, the person or the thing we have to trust the most is God and Jesus. We have to trust that they are doing everything they can to protect us, that we are on the right path, that if we continue to be good Christians and to care and to love, that we will be taken care of too. And that sometimes it's really hard to do that because we like to be in charge and we like to know what's going on but we have to trust them and so the disciples stay in Jerusalem and they trust God I think it must be really scary to watch Jesus go up in a cloud and not know when he would come back and not know what this gift is but the disciples stayed and waited with that, let us go and do a craft now.
So for this craft today, what you're going to need is you're going to need some cardboard that you're going to cut your Jesus out of. I would love to see how you do your Jesus. So use your imagination, show me exactly how you think Jesus looks. So we're going to do a Jesus and then you're going to need to cut out a cloud. Um, if your mom is willing or your dad is willing to let you use it, some cotton wool on the top, but I didn't have any to use, so I couldn't do that. And then you are going to need a toilet roll. Something like wool or rope or string or like I've got some fishing gut, some scissors, a pencil and some glue. So what you're going to do first is draw your Jesus. I've already done mine. Then make a cloud, whichever way you want to make a cloud and cut that out. There is your cloud. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your toilet roll, you're going to take your Jesus, and you're going to glue your Jesus onto the toilet roll. You're going to see why now. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to glue my Jesus onto my toilet roll. Hold it down so that it dries. If you don't have glue, you might find that sticky tape might work better for this. So once Jesus has been secured to your toilet roll, I want you to put him aside. You are then going to take your wool or your string or your fishing gut like mine and get a pretty decent length. And cut it. Then I want you to fold it in half so it makes a loop at the top. Hopefully you can see the loop. And then you're going to tape it with the loop sticking up at the top to the back of your cloud. So the reason why you need the loop is so that you will be able to hang it off something. And you'll see why now it's quite a cool thing in my opinion. So for this I'm going to use some sticky tape because glue would probably doesn't it won't work as well with what I'm using but glue might work well for you but I'm going to use sticky tape with mine I'm going to ask Mol to help me thank you Mol you might need a parent to help you with this as well just bring your finger closer to me please Okay, and then we're going to stick it down. Right, now what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom half of this, so turn your cloud around. You're going to take the bottom half of this and you are going to put it through your toilet roll. You've got to get both pieces through the bottom. Right, so what you're going to get is Jesus is going to be looking like this. And then I'm going to show you how this works. So you hook it onto your door and then you've got one string in one hand and the other string in the other. And as you pull it, it's like Jesus is going up to heaven. And as you can see, Miss Biao is very interested in the fact that Jesus is going up to heaven.
hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. I enjoyed making today's lesson. If you did enjoy this lesson, please give us a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and you can send this video to your friends if you really want to, if you think they would enjoy it too. With that, let us pray. God of ultimate wisdom and love, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the lessons that we've learned and help us to become better Christians. We pray this in your name. Amen. Now, next week is a really special, 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 special week. As I said, it was Pentecost. It's the church's birthday. So if your parents can, I need you to please prepare some jelly and get some cream or ice cream because we're going to have a bit of a party next week. Okay. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you his peace. Amen.